Hello and welcome to day seven of the Novena to St. Joseph the Worker, where we look at chapter six of Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation, Patris Corde, A Father's Heart. You may be wondering, why did it take this many days on a Novena to St. Joseph the Worker to talk about actual work? <laughs> well, the good news is Pope Francis addresses that in this chapter entitled, A Working Father. So we call to mind and pray for all those who make their living by the sweat of their brow, those who are unemployed and underemployed. As I'd mentioned at the beginning of this Novena series, today we look a little deeper into the dignity of work. Pope Francis says in this chapter that work is to participate in the work of salvation. It's to hasten the coming of the kingdom of God and to develop our talents and abilities. Oh my goodness. And all this time you thought work was just a way to make money or to busy ourselves. But work is, is serious. It's a way we participate in the creation of God. So this is a longer quote in the chapter, but I'd like to read it for you. Pope Francis says, working persons, whatever their job may be, are cooperating with God himself, and in some way become creators of the world around us. The crisis of our time, which is economic, social, cultural, and spiritual, can serve as a summons for all of us to rediscover the value, the importance, and necessity of work for bringing about a new normal from which no one is excluded. St. Joseph's work reminds us that God himself, in becoming man, did not disdain work. The loss of employment that affects so many of our brothers and sisters and has increased as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic should serve as a summons to review our priorities. Let us implore St. Joseph the Worker to help us find ways to express our firm conviction that no young person, no person at all, no family should be without work. End quote. And so let us remember then today that work is important so that each person can find their dignity. Let us pray today that our young people may find fair, equitable, and rewarding work, both materially and spiritually. Today, let's pray again the Memorare to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who implored your help and sought your intercession was left unassisted. Full of confidence in your power, I fly unto you and beg your protection. Despise not, O guardian of the Redeemer, my humble supplication, but in your bounty hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Joseph, patron of workers, pray for us. Thank you for watching, praying along with me, and we'll see you again tomorrow.